hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel in this video i will show you how to install and set up pinode on your windows pc so let's get started guys before starting the video if you are new here make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon while we upload a new video should be the first one to get it is notification guys in this video step by step i will show you how to install and configure or set up the pinode on your windows pc so first of all you have to download the pinode application on your windows pc simply open up a new tab and type pinode once you are here so click on the download node now you can see that there is two options if you are using mac or if you are using windows as i'm using windows so simply i will click on the windows section now you can see that the actual size of the pi node network application is around 117 mb so it will take some time wait for it until it should be downloaded so guys once the pi node setup is successfully downloaded click on the open option to launch the installation here is the pi network setup so here is it is launching the installation simply complete the setup so here is the pi node is opened on the windows 11 pc as you can see that i'm using windows 11 pc so here is to sign up download the pi network mobile app from mine.com so click on the login option here is the code that you have to copy this code and paste it to your mobile device on the uh, pi network application so guys as i'm using the nox player simply i will minimize this go to the nox player here i will open it so guys here is the pi so simply i will open this so guys once you are on the main window click on this option click on the node option now here you have to type the code that you see inside the pi node application so simply i will go here copy the code and paste it here once you are done simply click on the confirm option now you can see that your code is submitted your pi should be authenticated shortly so i will minimize this here is the pi node application that you can use the pi node application inside your windows pc with the same mobile view so guys once you are done simply there is some configuration that you have to, uh, to do that click on the node option click on the apply option now you can see that computer type no application form no application form there is my com uh, primary computer i'm using laptop there is windows so you can see that is your computer permanently connect connected to the internet i will select no is your computer connected through a home router i will select yes there is how many hours a day you plan to run node i will say occasionally i will select the country so simply i will select my own country here and you can see that are you interested in completing kyc asap so i will select yes and click on the submit option again go back here now you can see pi note application submitted so click on the continue option here is you can see no technical preparation here is you have to install the docker there is you can see docker has not been found on your system please download and install it so simply click on download docker desktop here as you can see download docker desktop click on this click on start as you can see guys the actual size of the docker is around 594 mb so it will take some time to download the docker so guys once the docker setup is successfully downloaded click on the open uh, option to launch the installation guys here is the docker you can see that it is initializing you're verifying the packages so it is installing you can see that configuration use wsl2 instead of hyper-v recommended add shortcuts to desktop so click on the ok option now it is unpacking the files and installing the docker on your windows pc uh, guys here is the docker is successfully installed so here is you can see that you must restart uh, your windows to complete the installation so in this case you have to restart your windows to complete the installation so simply i will click on close and restart so guys after your pc is restored successfully so here you have to click on the accept to open the docker and you can see guys there is docker desktop requires a newer wsl kernel version update the wsl kernel by running wsl update or following instruction so here click on this link to navigate to the website and update some features as you can see that docker desktop failed to restart so simply again i will go back here you can see guys kernel update so click the packages to download this package for the 
docker and guys the next thing is you can see here is you can see open powershell and run this command to set wsl2 as the default version when installing a new linux distribution so simply you have to copy this commands copy this now after the installation of this package for the docker you have to run the package to run uh, the docker in, on windows pc smoothly now click on the open option click on the next you can see that guys this package is successfully installed so click on the finish option now go to powershell now here it is right click on this run as administrator now type the command and press enter as you can see guys for information you can see that the operation is completed successfully so now again go back to the docker uh, desktop and open it here as you can see guys get started with the docker in the few easy steps now so now click skip tutorial now you can see guys to running a container copy and paste this command into your terminal and then come back now you have to copy this again close the uh, docker now go to the command prompt right click on this run as administrator now paste this command here and paste enter uh, you can see guys unable to find image docker the latest lo locally so now it is installing some packages on the docker to complete the fully setup of the docker inside the windows pc now here you can see that firewall it is uh, asking to allow the access here it is guys the package is successfully installed again i will close the command prompt here go to the docker desktop and open it and you can see guys that the docker is successfully working on the windows pc and here it is guys the docker is also successfully installed on the windows pc and here as you can see guys it's perfectly working if you click on the open router ports it's you uh, you can see that pioneers communicate with each other uh, through the following TCP IP ports so guys it's perfectly working you can click on the check now to check the ports listener starting ports, ports listener and pinging your computer so guys it was about how to install the PyNote network inside your windows pc i hope you enjoyed watching this video if the video was useful thumbs up the video share your nice comments in the below down comment section and thanks for watching god bless you i will catch you in the next one